Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today, we're going to talk about why I quit playing baseball. Now, sometimes I sit down for these videos. I get these questions like this one. Why did you quit playing baseball? And um, sometimes you don't really even think about all this stuff. You know, life just kind of happens and um, one day you're doing something and the next day you're not. And sometimes you don't know why. And I really haven't thought, I haven't sat down a lot and thought about like the reasons why everything happened. Um, but I'm just going to sit down and, and just talk, okay, about this. So why I quit playing baseball. The first thing, the first thing that comes to mind when I say that is, um, is, is people are, are sitting there probably saying, you didn't quit, you got fired. Nobody wanted you to play baseball anymore. And you're absolutely right. That is true. That people told me, you stink, go home, you can't play. You don't got to go home, but get, you got to get the heck up out of here, okay? Um, but technically, technically, I could have continued to play baseball because I had other offers to play baseball. And so let's get into all that. Why would I, do, why would I choose to not play baseball anymore? Why would I choose to get into coaching? Because it, it was a, a very conscious decision that I made to, to um, put away my cleats and my bat and my, bat and my glove and, and all that. I, my cup, I made a video um, a week or so ago about wearing cups. Um, and so why did I put all that away? Why did I stop playing baseball? and move on to coaching baseball and so let's uh let's rewind a little bit in case you're new to the channel because we've been getting a lot of new subscribers lately and as we move towards the baseball season usually we get more and more and more people that are subscribing so if you haven't watched our other videos go back and watch them and learn a little bit about uh, baseball and and me Uh, you probably don't care about me but baseball um so let's kind of get into it okay so as a baseball player I played eight years professionally, played with five different teams, ended up playing the major leagues with the Padres, okay? Again, many of you already know my story. I'm not going to go into it forever. Um, And so, you know, during that time, and really you can go back even further than that, even in my college time, and and, um, and I'm not saying this is right, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying that this is the way everyone is. I'm just telling you how I was. And looking back, it wasn't right at all. Um, but I got really obsessed, even in high school, uh, but not not as much in high school. I got obsessed with this, um, with like this end result, right? So like the end result of playing in the major leagues and and being a great player and being an all star and playing in a World Series. And uh, I never really thought about making the Hall of Fame, but I, I did think about playing in the major leagues and being an all star and winning a World Series. Like I thought about all that stuff, as I'm sure many of you have probably thought about it as well at some point in your life. And so. Um, I, I really got obsessed with this feeling or, or this thought of doing that. And um, it's always like the, the end result, right? You're always thinking about like getting to this place. And you don't really, uh, at least for me, you don't really like enjoy the journey of going to that place. Um, and that's what it felt like for me. I, I didn't, like when I was in college, um, I always, I don't want to say I was a selfish player, but maybe you could say I was a selfish player in some ways because I put a lot of pressure on myself. I worked really hard to be a a major league baseball player, right? I had a few goals when I played in college. I want to be a first round pick and I want to be a major league baseball player. The the biggest thing was first round pick. Like uh, I was pretty obsessive over that. Like if I had to take you and strangle you to make sure I'm just kidding, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to anybody. I wouldn't strangle anybody, but um, it was pretty close. Like I would, um, I, I really wanted to be a high pick and I want to play in the major leagues. Right. And so like, even if our team won, like if I did horrible, I, I didn't, I wasn't happy. That's a bad teammate. Okay. And so, um, not that I was like throwing chairs and stuff in the clubhouse or whatever, but like, you know, like I'd be like, yeah, we won, but I'm really pissed that I just did really shitty and people came to watch me play scouts and I look like crap. Like, you know, and so when that happens, you're not enjoying playing the game. You're, you're, you're only enjoying doing well, right? So you're not, you're not having fun playing the game. You're, in, you're having fun only when you do well. And I struggled with that a lot during my career. And, um, and so when I think about, when I think about that, right, why did I quit? Why did I stop playing? Because I got to the point where I didn't feel like I could fulfill all of those things that I thought about at one point in my career. 
I realized that even though I made it to the major leagues, I realized like I'm not going back to the major leagues. I'm not going to be an all-star. I'm not winning a World Series. And I sure as hell ain't going to the Hall of Fame, right? Um, because I hadn't hit well. I was injured. I could tell my skills were diminishing because I'd been injured and uh, I wasn't practicing. And, and so I got to this point where I was like, could I still play baseball? Yeah, I could have went and played independent ball. And some players go play independent ball and then they, they make it to the big leagues. Um, but I chose not to because I didn't think I was ever going to get back to the big leagues and, and do any of that stuff. And some people will just play the game just for fun, right? They said, like, I might not be able to do all those things, but I'm going to go play just for fun. I'm just going to go because I love baseball so much and I just enjoy playing. Now, I love baseball, obviously. I'm, I'm going to do baseball the rest of my life. I did it as a player and I did it as a coach. Um, doing it as a coach is actually, for me, much more fun. Much more fun. Because for the first time ever, I can enjoy just the game of baseball. Like, I just enjoy the game. There's no pressure on me to... Tr There's not... Like, I don't sit there and I say, I want to be a big league manager. Like... I want to win a World Series in, as a manager. I want to go to the Hall of Fame as a manager, as a coach. Like, I have none of those thoughts. None of them. I just manage, I don't manage, I just coach baseball because I love baseball, right? Like, I just go to the park and it's fun to like just be at a baseball park. Like, watch players have fun and excited. Like, watch a player get a hit and see him get pumped up and like, Win the game, like win the game feels good, like compete against the other team, like all these things. But it's nothing is because I'm like, I need to do, I, whatever. It's just like, it's just the game. It's all the things that go into the game, right? And so I went into this video not even thinking I was going to say all this stuff, but as I'm like sitting here in my therapy session um, with you, I'm starting to realize this. And so I just heard Laura open the door. Um, but, I'm, but I really do feel like that. I'm finally able to just enjoy the game instead of being so selfish and self-absorbed that like I just think about all these things that I want to get to and everyone else get out of my way and I can't have any fun with anybody. I, I, just, want to, I just want to do what I want to do, okay? So that's why I stopped playing because I realized I couldn't do all that stuff anymore. And, you know, you think back even earlier in high school, I think back like, now this might be strange as well, but I just thought about this. When I think about high school sports, I always think about hockey and I think about football. I think about football the most, okay? I think about football the most and even basketball sometimes, but I don't think about baseball that much. You know why? I just realized this. Again, thank you for my therapy session because in baseball, again, even in high school, it was always pressure to like get drafted out of high school. I was and it was like get drafted higher, right? And so Again, you start thinking of like these end results, selfish things, not the journey. You know why I love football so much? Because I didn't give a shit. I, I didn't, sorry for swearing. I wasn't going to go play college football. I mean, I could have if I wanted to, but I didn't want to. I wanted to play baseball. And so like when I stepped on the football field, it wasn't about me at all. No, it wasn't about me at all. Even though I played really well, I won a lot of awards and all these things, I could have given two craps about the awards. I didn't care. You know what I thought about when I stepped on the field every day? That we win the game. I barely ever touched the ball my senior year. I scored a lot of touchdowns, didn't touch the ball a lot, didn't touch the ball as much as anyone else on the team. And I couldn't care less. I never once went to my coach and said like, hey coach, how about you give me the ball a little bit more, okay? I have three touchdowns. Would you like four, maybe five? Would you like six? Okay, I never said that. You know why? Because I didn't give a crap. I just wanted to win the game. I wanted to have fun. I wanted to be on the football field and people cheering for us and celebrate with teammates. And that was it. And if I didn't touch the ball at all, like against Bishop Fenwick my first year, my first game of my senior season, which I didn't touch the ball at all during the game, I didn't care. I was super happy. It was so much fun because I just loved the game of football and it wasn't about me. Long story short, that's why I stopped playing because I couldn't do it just for fun. I did it so long that it, for, not for fun, just for these stupid things that that's all I knew. And, but now I love baseball again. And I like it because I'm a coach and I don't have to worry about myself and I can worry about everyone else and cheer everybody else on and just enjoy the game for what it's supposed to be. Thank you for my therapy session. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you later.
If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.